Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Fikri Adifari as a presenter. Uh, my research title is the relation between knowledge in iron and protein intake to the incidence of anemia in elderly. And the authors in this study is Dr. Pinar, Dr. Susanti, Dr. Henry, and myself. First, the background, number one, anemia is a decrease in the number of erythrocytes so that they cannot meet the body's needs for peripheral tissues or oxygen carrying capacity. Number two, according to a study conducted by Reinhardt Stauber et al. in 2018, the prevalence of anemia in the elderly in the world was 10 until uh, 24%. Number three, the prevalence of anemia in the elderly in West Java has not yet been found in publication. Number four, decrease uh, function of the digestive system. Number five, knowledge about anemia has an effect on preventing and overcoming uh, the incidence of anemia. Number six, the nutrition cons consumed by the elderly are often not sufficient for the body's need. Number seven is increased mortality in the elderly. Hypothesis, uh, first hypothesis, there is no relationship between knowledge and nutrition intake on the incidence of anemia in the elderly. Uh, second hypothesis, uh, there is a relationship between knowledge and nutrition intake on the incidence of anemia in the elderly. Next for the main map, uh, in the study, uh, the respondent will be examined uh, for hemoglobin and will get the hemoglobin level in each respondent. Uh, judging by whether uh, that hemoglobin level is normal or not, it can be said that uh, anemia is if the hemoglobin level in adult men is under 13, uh, while in adult women uh, under 12. Uh, anemia can be influenced by several factors uh, like nutritional intake, knowledge, age, and gender. Uh, in this study, only researching that uh, the intake of nutrition in the form of iron and protein and knowledge about anemia. The impact that can occur due to anemia is a decrease in cognitive function in the elderly and uh, increased risk of falling, falling uh, dementia, decreased uh, muscle strength, and even increased mortality in the elderly. Next, uh, first, this uh, research purpose begins with uh, research design. This research was conducted by using analytical observational research methods uh, and cross-sectional observation which uh, aims to analyze uh, the relationship between independent variables uh, and dependent variables by collecting data at one time or point time approach. The subjects uh, in this study uh, were elderly people aged more than uh, 60 years old who member at the clinic and the Copo area, uh, Bandung City. Inclusion criteria on this uh, research is respondents who are willing to be a research subject, subject, uh, respondent more than 60 years old, respondent who agree to the terms of the study and who are willing to sign the informed consent. For exclusion criteria, this research is suffering from chronic kidney failure, failure uh, stage five, suffering from violence, uh, suffering from bone marrow disorders. Uh, the research was conducted at a clinic in the Copa area, Bandung City, in November until December 2021. For research result, uh, first uh, characteristic of respondent. The result of the table research show uh, that from a total of 35 respondent study, uh, it is known that the average age of respondent is 66.57 years. Uh, next, overview knowledge level. Uh, the results show that the majority of respondents had a low level of knowledge about anemia as many as 20 people, while respondents with a good level of knowledge were only uh, 15 people. Next is overview iron intake. The result of the table showed that the majority of respondents have inadequate iron intake as many as 24 respondents, while respondents with adequate iron intake are 11 people. Next, I uh, offer a few protein intake. The result of the table showed that the majority of respondents have inadequate protein intake, namely as many as 21 people, uh, while respondents who have adequate protein intake are only 14 people. Next, offer a few incidents of anemia. In the result of the study, it was found that the majority of respondents did not experience anemia, as many as uh, 19 people, while uh, 16 people experience anemia. Next, the result of the analysis, the relationship between knowledge about anemia and the incidence of anemia in the elderly. In the group of uh, respondents with a good level of knowledge, uh, the majority of respondents did not experience anemia as many as 12 people. Only three respondents in the group of respondents with a low knowledge, 
level of, of knowledge, more uh, respondent experience anemia as many as 13 people, uh, while respondents who do not uh, experience anemia are only seven people. Based on the result uh, of the chi score test, uh, it was concluded uh, that there was a significant relationship. Next, the result of the analysis of the relationship between iron intake and the incidence of anemia in the elderly found that uh, in the group of respondents with inadequate iron intake, more respondents experienced anemia as many as 14 people, uh, while the respondents uh, who did not experience anemia were only 10 people. In the group uh, of respondents with adequate iron intake, uh, more respondents did not experience anemia as many as 10 people, while the respondents who experienced anemia were only two people. Based on the result of the chi-square test, there is a significant relationship. Next, the result of analysis of the relationship between protein intake and the incidence of anemia in the elderly found that in the group of respondents with an inadequate protein intake, more respondents uh, experienced anemia as many as 13 people, while the respondents who did not experience anemia were only 8 people. In the group of respondents with adequate protein intake, uh, 11 respondents uh, did not experience anemia. Meanwhile, only 3 respondents uh, experience with anemia. Based on uh, the result of the chi-square test, it means uh, that there is a significant relationship. Uh, next, for the conclusion. First, the majority of respondents had a low level of knowledge about anemia as many as 20 people, while respondents with a good level of knowledge were uh, 14 people. The majority of respondents had an inadequate iron intake as many as 24 people, only 11 respondents had uh, adequate iron intake. The majority of respondents had inadequate protein intakes as uh, many as 21 people, only 14 respondents had adequate protein intake. In the incidence of anemia, the respondents who did not experience anemia were 19 people, uh, while the respondents who had anemia were uh, 16 people. Next conclusion, uh, there is significant a relationship between knowledge and the incidence of anemia in the elderly. There is a significant relationship between iron intake and the incidence of anemia in the elderly. There is a significant relationship between protein intake and the incidence of anemia in the elder elderly. Next is my uh, reference. Thank you for the opportunity. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.